What's cracking, YouTube family? It's your big homie Wayne, and welcome to another reaction video. All right, so man, this one right here is coming up from a comedic legend, man. Um, I've never seen any of this stand up myself. I've just seen him like in movies, definitely way before my time. Um, <clears throat> his name is the name of this one is uh, Prison by Richard Pryor. Oh, let's get into it. At least I don't have to look at them anymore. I went to penitentiary, Gene Wilder, I did a movie, I went to, not me personally, I mean, I went to do a film in penitentiary, um, <laughs> and it was, I was up there six weeks, Arizona State Penitentiary. It was some, oh, you applauding for that? <laughs> you applauding for that? Arizona State Penitentiary, real popular. <laughs> oh man, it was strange, cause it's like 80% black people. And what's strange about that is that there are no black people in Arizona. <laughs> I'm not lying, they bust motherfuckers in. And I was up there and I, I looked at all the brothers and it made my heart ache. You know, it's all these beautiful black men in the joint. God damn, warriors should be out there helping the masses. And I, I felt that way. I was real naive, right? And six weeks I was up there, I talked to the brothers, you know, and I talked to him, and thank God we got penitentiaries. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, thank God we got penitentiaries. <laughs> I asked him, I said, why did you kill everybody in the house? Because they was home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at his face. I mean, murderers. <laughs> Do you hear me? Real live murderers. I thought black people killed people by accident. <laughs> no, <laughs> these motherfuckers was murderers. <laughs> I met one brother. His name was J-Bo. Motherfucker lift weights. He was in charge of it. J-Bo. Muscles every motherfucker. Where's my man? Muscles in. He was doing a sentence. Triple life. <laughs> How in the fuck do you do triple life? I mean, I mean, if he die and come back, yeah, do the good. he got to go to penitentiary. <laughs> he got to go to penitentiary. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck kindergarten. Get your little old ass back in the penitentiary. <laughs> you know what you did last time you was in. <laughs> Gene Wilder loved to jump in the middle of the killers and start talking. Hi, guys. How you doing? I said, Gene, bring your ass out. What do you think they do to us if we were here, Rich? You say, fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> and Gene said, I'm not homosexual. Homosexual ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> they don't fuck you because you like it. They just fuck you just to see that look on your face. <laughs> I meant one dude kidnapped, murder, four. And I thought three times that was your ass, right? <laughs> no. This, I said, what happened? I can't get your shit right. <laughs> but I'm getting paroled in two years, brother Rich. I'm gonna fire it up, you know. I got some contracts I signed, you know what I mean? Let's see, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> see, I wanna know when this motherfucker getting out, <laughs> <laughs> who he gonna be with. <laughs> and if I see him in my neighborhood, I'm just gonna shoot the motherfucker. <laughs> Cause I do not want to be kidnapped. Take no chance. No motherfucker calling up my wife talking about send some money. Cause that's really my ass. <laughs> so, well, don't fuck up the suit. That's what we gonna bury him in. <laughs> I'm gonna take my chances. Cause, damn, I'm gonna be kidnapped. Put my hands behind my back. Cause they always like to make you put your hands behind your back and shit, and then fuck with you a little while. Said, no, motherfucker, blow my face off with the shotgun while I got my hands on your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so there'll be some evidence. <laughs> right? The police come in and I open his hand. And right, this guy's gonna be easy to find. <laughs> He's gonna show up to the hospital sooner or later. put that shotgun on you make you ain't got to do shit that's easy to say but in real life we all know a shotgun your hand will automatically jump behind your back 
Even if you don't want it to your hands, say, fuck you. So shotgun, asshole. Give me that rope. I'll tie myself. Is this a good knot? <laughs> right I mean, everybody that. like to be brave, right, in the real situation, but we ain't so brave sometimes, you know. I mean, sometimes you be brave. Most of the time, we're just ordinary, you know. Hope we don't get in a situation where you have to be brave. That's how the Nazis fucked over people. Because most people are basically decent. Them Nazis just run over motherfuckers. Because black people always say, fuck, I'd have told them not. You wouldn't have told them Nazis shit. Because <laughs> them motherfuckers didn't play. <laughs> You'd be out there talking, hey, motherfucker, you Mr. Nazi. <laughs> Mr. Nazi. What is this? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, just fucking around, Jack. <laughs> like them boots you got on, home. <laughs> and penitentiary, man, they got all them racist groups. Got the white groups, hate. They act like they're in New York. They got the Nazi party and uh, what they call it, the Ku Klux Klan. The Mexicans got them gangs, you can't pronounce the names. <laughs> and they don't wear no shirts. <laughs> Black people got the mild miles, and the Muslims, double Muslims. Them's the one you don't fuck with them, double Muslims. Double Muslims. Cause them motherfuckers can't wait to get to Allah. <laughs> <laughs> and wanna take eight or nine motherfuckers with them. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. Then we have it right there, man. Richard Pryor <clears throat> talking about prison. Um, that was my first time having the privilege of listening to a Richard Pryor stand up, man. It was enjoyable. Very, very funny, man. Very, very funny. Um, and it was something that I think you could really relate. I mean, like he said, he went to the prison to shoot the movie. He had a chance to actually talk to some of the people because... Like you said, before he even got in there, he realized that the prison population was large and it was mainly black people, like he said. And, and he went in there to get to know them a little bit. And after that, he said he realized, man, I'm glad they have prisons. Even though he felt bad in the beginning, like I see why they're in here just after the conversations. And the one guy, he said, he asked, why'd you carry everybody in the house? He's like, well, it was up in there. And it's just like, man, like, you know, that's the one thing, man. We always say that, you know, you need the prison reform and stuff like that, which I do believe that um, because everybody that's in prison isn't violent and everybody, everybody that's in prison isn't even always guilty. So um, that's something we have to take into consideration. But for the people that are guilty and the people that are violent, man, that's the only place that they should be if they're going to be on the streets trying to bring harm to people and whatnot. Like he said, man, like you get to know someone's story and it's not as lighthearted as you would want it to be because in reality, there are bad people out there and they have to be kept away from the good people. But what do you guys think? Jump down in the comments and let me know how you feel about this one here from Richard Pryor Prison. Are you familiar with, with Richard Pryor's comedy? I think most people are pretty familiar with uh, Richard Pryor's comedy. Um, at least we've heard of it, even if we haven't seen any of it. Like I just seen this for the first time. Um, do you have any suggestions that you want to hear from Richard Pryor? Drop that in the comments and let us know. Also, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, if you laughed just a little bit, man, go give the video a huge thumbs up. There's lots more exposure for the channel. More people see the video just like you did. Gets us locked into the algorithms everywhere out there. So let's give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're still here, it's your first time stopping by. Maybe you've been here before and you still haven't done so. Why not? Hit the subscribe button. Become a member of the family. And make sure you ring the notification bell so you can always know when we're dropping off hot videos just like this one right here man hey appreciate the support as always this is a funny video i really enjoyed it and uh, it's gonna be definitely some more uh, coming from richard Pryor on here man um now as always peace